Nathan, thank you, mate, for direct support. Five months. How bad is the crucial P2 SSD versus the new MSI one terabyte? Today's video is brought to you by Green Man Gaming, your source for awesome PC game deals. Save on AAA games and classic indie titles with discounts over 90% in some cases. More details after the video. You get what you pay for. The Crucial P2 is for people to whom the price is everything. It's not terrible. It's, it's fine for a secondary game drive. I would never use it for a boot drive. Here's, here's what he's talking about. Uh, let me come over here and pull up the links. Okay, so bright screen warning. Here's the Crucial P2 2 terabyte. It's 160. This is better than a SATA drive, sort of, but it's also not. Even though it's up to 2.4 gigabytes per second, it is worth noting uh, this is a DRAMless drive, although it's probably one of the better DRAMless drives. And I think these are QLC. You know what? My brain is taking a lunch. Is this QLC or TLC? The uh, terabyte write life writing is terrible. 600? Here's the problem. The Crucial MX500 SATA SSD is in many regards a better SSD than this. Even though it's not as fast, it is TLC, SLC cached, DRAM buffered. The, um, let me pull up the MX500. So this is the Crucial MX500 2 terabyte, two and a half inch SATA SSD. See the price? 167 or 168. That is 160. NVMe for less than SATA. And they're both crucial. What happened? Cheap, budget, low end, stripped. Premium everything, best of the best in SATA. You get what you pay for. Now, you want the complete opposite? If you can spring it. 300 bucks? P5 Plus, Gen 4, premium everything. TLC, SLC cache, DRAM buffered, one of the fastest. Not quite as fast as a 980 Pro, but pretty close. 6.6? .6. But look at the price. 300 bucks. Now the MSI he was asking about is this one. Now this is a Gen 4, but it's a first gen Gen 4, which sounds really, really weird. This is only up to five gigs per second. And it's got that uh, initial cheap controller. It's fine, it's $240 after mail and rebate. If I were buying a drive, I would buy this one. I think it's worth the extra money. First of all, mail and rebates suck. Well, that's fine for a game drive. It is. The other one is- So is that. But the other one for a boot drive. It's hard to argue 160 versus 300 and tell everybody everybody should spend the 300 because I get it. That's expensive. On the other hand, having used cheap drives, you pay for it once and then you have to live with it for years. That's true. And cheap drives suck. Tell everybody your drive story. Oh my gosh. I had a terrible DRAMless drive, it was horrible. It took forever to download games, it couldn't do multiple things, it would just do one thing at a time and do it really, really, really damn slow. So you had to be careful when you did things and when you didn't do things, and if you needed to update anything, you had to do it overnight and just let it run overnight, which means you couldn't turn your computer off. This was an NVMe SSD, mind you. It was horrible. This was a TLC. NVMe SSD, no DRAM buffer, I mean, cheap drive. It got so bad that I just lost interest because I couldn't use my computer. And when you can't use your computer, that's a problem. How do you like your faster drives? I love my faster drive. I can click save, I can click things, I can do things, and it just does, does it. It just works. 
I do still need to replace the drive on your current machine at home. Like, at home, she actually has an Intel 660p boot drive at the moment on her, which is stupid. I keep needing it. It's just one of those things that it's like, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I'll get, freaking I'll get to it when we're retired. She has an i9-10850K with a one terabyte Intel 660p QLC boot drive. However, yeah, but the 660p has DRAM. Yes. So, and it makes all the difference. Makes, yeah. Yes. But I do, I have a drive for you. I've got a better drive to put in there. That's right. You got a stake in a win for me too. So what's your point? Green Man Gaming is a game seller that offers publisher sourced game keys at incredible prices. This is not a key reselling site. Everything here is 100% direct from the publishers. Green Man Gaming has been in business for 10 years selling discounted game keys, famous for their publisher sales, where almost everything from a specific publisher is on sale at once. Green Man Gaming offers deep discounts on older games as well as fair discounts on brand new ones, sometimes as much as 25% off pre-orders. Now you may be wondering, how do they do this when the same game is full price on Steam? Simple. They are passing on part of their cut to you as the customer. It is typical for 70% of the purchase price to go to the publisher and 30% to go to the retailer. So if Green Man Gaming offers a 22% discount on a brand new game, that's basically them passing their cut over to you. For new release games, AAA games, and major publisher titles, Green Man Gaming has been our very own primary source for games in the past few years. And we recommend them for your own game library as well. The link in the video description is an affiliate link and using it pays us a small commission at no extra cost to you. It's a great way to support us while getting awesome deals on games.